Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Light Loader. Now, Light Loader is a version of Minecraft much like Forge and Fabric, allowing you to load mods into Minecraft. However, Light Loader has a ton of modifications. It's also meant to be lighter in terms of RAM and CPU usage when compared to something like Forge. So if your computer isn't very good and doesn't run Forge very well, then it's definitely worth trying out Light Loader. So first, I'm going to show you how to install it without Forge, and then after that, I'll show you how to install it with Forge. So first of all, you want to go to the Minecraft launcher. Then you need to install the version of Minecraft that you want Light Loader to run on. So to do this, we can come up to Installations, then click New Installation, and then of course, select your version. If you're not sure which versions Lightloader actually has, then you can go to the link in the description which will take you to the Lightloader download page. And here we can of course see the versions that are available to us. So we have from 1.12 all the way down to 1.5.2. The dots below show how stable it is, so of course, get whichever version you need. For this video, I'm going to be using 1.12.2. So in the Minecraft launcher, we're going to change the version, all the way down to 1.12.2. Also, depending on how old a version is, you might have to scroll for a while. So I found release 1.12.2 here, so we'll click that. If you want, you can also name the installation. I've just named it 1.12.2, and then we can go to the bottom and click create. So now we go back to play, and then we select our version down here, and we're then gonna find our 1.12.2 that we've just created, which is this one. Once we've done that, we can then click play, it will then install 1.12.2 and then once you've loaded it up, you can simply just quit the game. But make sure you have run the version at least once. Alright, so now we've created our game version. Now we need to install Light Loader. So once again, go to the description to the download link. Then from here, find your version, mine being 1.12.2, and then download the version that you need. The top one is Windows, so you'll get an .exe file, and the one below it is Linux and Mac, so you'll get a jar file instead. So, click download on the one you need, and then of course, save it where you want. I'll just keep it in my downloads. And then we're going to open it up. Then you'll be brought into this Light Loader installer, where from here you want to make sure Install Light Loader Recommended is checked. And then when we have 1.12.2 here, you want to make sure that is selected. And if you want, you can change the name of the new profile. And then down here, you want to make sure that the directory is the one that your Minecraft is installed in. So this is correct for me. Once it's all correct, just click OK. And as you can see, it has successfully created a new profile. So we'll click OK. And now once we're in the launcher, we'll actually need to restart it. So you can go ahead and close it. And then we're going to open it back up. Alright, so it's loaded back up, and by default, it's actually selected our new install. So we have Light Loader 1.12.2 right here. We can go ahead and click play, and then as you can see, we are now in Minecraft. You can also tell Light Loader has loaded properly, as at the top right, we have this little bar, which pops out and shows us our version, which we're in Light Loader 1.12.2. Now, if you are looking for mods, we have a link in the description where you can find a ton of mods for Light Loader. And there will be a little chapter at the end of the video where you can see that mods do actually work. Alright, so now we're going to show you how you can install it instead with Forge. So first of all, you are actually going to need to install Forge to your client. Now I'll leave a guide to installing Forge in the description below. And once you've done that, come back to this video and then you can follow the rest of the guide. Once we have installed Forge, we're then going to want to download Light Loader. So go to the description and then click on the download link which should take you here. Then select the version you need. So mine is 1.12.2, we'll select it, and then we'll select the version we need. So the top one is an .exe file, so that's for Windows, and the second one is a jar file for Linux and Mac. So I'll select the Windows one, and then download it where you want. And then once it's downloaded, we're simply going to open it up, and then it should take you to the Light Loader installer. From here, we're then going to make sure it says Install Light Loader Recommended, and then we're going to take the Show Incompatible Versions. It will give us a warning, which we'll click OK. We're then going to click 1.12.2, and we're then going to select our 1.12.2 Forge file. So this is our Forge file that we have installed. We'll select that, and then make sure your Minecraft directory is set in the right place. Once it is, we'll then click OK. And then as you can see, it has successfully created a new profile. So we'll click OK again, and then we're going to want to close and reopen our Minecraft launcher. Once it has loaded up, we can then go into the version at the bottom, and we can then find Light Loader 1.12.2 with Forge. We'll then select it, and then click Play. Now I've installed our versions, I'm going to show you how you can install mods. So first of all, go to the link in the description, and then find a mod that you want to download. And also make sure it is compatible with your version. For this video, I'm going to be using a mod called Autofish. We can then select the download link, which is Minecraft Forum. So then you can follow the guide, which then for me took me to CurseForge, where I then downloaded the jar file. And make sure you do download it for the version that you need. 
So for me, this is 1.12.2. So I'll download it. And once it has downloaded, we'll have it in our downloads folder. We'll then select it, where we can then copy it. And then if we go down to our Windows menu, we can then type in percent app data percent. We'll then go into this folder and then into .minecraft. And then we can go into our mods folder and then into the 1.12.2 folder. We'll then paste in the mod. And then if we go ahead and run the version, as you can see in the top, we now have one mod loaded. And now we're going to try out our mod. So we'll throw out our fishing line. A fish then caught on, and without me pressing anything, it has actually fished it out back for us, and then also fished out another line. And I did not press anything at all for that. Of course, I had to throw the line initially, but as soon as it caught the fish by itself, it actually threw the line out by itself again, and there we go, it just did it once again. So we can see that it is in fact working. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.